Good evening everyone and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today we are going to estimate a two-digit number of any two-digit number and we're going to estimate the square root of that number. Okay, the technique is very simple. So we shall do four examples today and we but after after the four examples, you should be familiar how to do it. Okay. Uh, if you are short of calculator, you are not in, capable of getting a calculator, then this method is a good method to estimate a yeah, two-digit number. First, let's look at square root of 28. First step, you need to find the number that will be close enough to get the square root of 28. The most likely going to be square root of 25, which is 5. Because square root of uh, 36 will be 6, will be more than 28. So the answer is going to be 5 point something. Okay. So the something is that the technique you need to remember is that 28 minus 25, in mind the number here, the original number minus the square number, 28 minus 25 is going to be 3. And you need to divide by double of this number, so 5 times 2. Okay, so the answer is going to be 5.3 over 10, which is going to be 3. So the answer is 5.3. I have checked out the calculator beforehand, and the answer, the Actual answer is going to be 5.291 and that is very close to the original answer. Now we look at the second example. Okay, Square root of 45. So the first step, you need to find the perfect square that is closest to 45. The answer is going to be 6. 6 point something. Okay, So 7 will be 4. 7 is 49 so 7 cannot play a part. So the closest was square root of 36 the next step you're going to find is the difference between the number and the uh, the, four, the original number 45 and the square number so the difference is going to be 9 and you're going to double this number 6 times 2 so it's going to be 6 and this will be 9 over 12 which is going to be 6 and 3 quarter which is equivalent to 6.75 okay so I have checked the calcul uh, calculator, the answer was 6.708, which is a bit off, but it's still quite a good estimate. Okay, now we look at the third example. By the end of the fourth example, you should be very, very fami familiar with this technique. Okay, so 68, again, the closest you get, get is going to be 64, which is 8. Okay, so the answer is going to be 8 point something. Okay, so what you need to do, you are going to find the difference. 68 minus 64 is going to be 4. Divide by double of this number, 8 times 2 is going to be 8. 4 out of 16 is going to be 8 and a quarter. And the answer is 8.25. And again, from the calculator, I've checked the answer is 8.246 which is very, very close to 8.25. So we are getting there. Last but not least, we're going to find the square root of 90. Square root of 90 is again, the closest is going to be 9, because 9 is 81. So it's going to be 9 point a number, okay? So the step again, you find a different. 90 minus 81 is going to be 9. And then the you're going to double this number 9 times 2. So it's going to be 9 over 9 over 18 or 9 and a half. And the answer is 9.5. And the calculator answer for this was 9.48, which is also very close. So if you can see for my example, the four examples we have done, the square root can be estimated by using this way. Have a good day everyone and see you soon.